Hi guys, it's German the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 252 on SLA exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and just try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. A life insurance company has found that there is 3% probab probability that a randomly selected applicant contains an error. So there is 3% probability that a random, okay, an auditor randomly selects 100 applicants. Calculate the probability that the 95% or less of the selected applicants are error free. So calculate the probability that error free applicants are less than 95%. Or out of 100 applicants, we can just multiply 100 times 95. So this is equal to 95. Or we can rephrase this by saying, what is the probability that error, application that has error, is equal to, is greater than or equal to 5? All right, so if this is 95, and what is the probability that error-free apps are along this line? Well, we can just find that the um, application with error, we can assume, is greater than 5, right? So this part right here. So then that's why we can say, okay, so what is the probability that application with error is greater than or equal to 5? But then if we say, um, as always, it's always easier to find um, the complement because 5 greater than 5 could mean like 5, 6, 7, 8, blah, 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 and so on and so on. So we can just always rephrase this as a um, complement, 1 minus the probability. Again, if it's greater than 5, it includes 5. So we're subtracting 0, we're subtracting 1, we're subtracting 2, we're subtracting 3, and finally we're subtracting 4. But we don't want to subtract 5 because in that we're in, if we take the 4 out, then that gets us what we want, which is 5 and on. I hope that makes sense. That's how it's how I think of these kind of problems. And then so then this again, I just I already said it earlier. This is just a bi binomial distribution. So our binomial distribution is our number of experiments times k probability of k times a complement n minus k. Okay, so this is equal to one minus. So if there is out of hundred applicants, there is zero apps with error so that's equal to 0.03 um there is zero apps with error so the probability of error is again 0.03 so it's 0.03 to the 0 0.97 to the 1 and then so on so on right we can say that for for when it's equal to 1 and we can say that for when it's equal to 2 right right yeah we, we got this not too bad it's mostly about can you plug it into the calculator correct i think the hardest part was coming up with that initial formula but other than that not too bad oh what am i doing here this should be ooh, baby this should be 100 this should be 99 98 ooh. minus 103.03 to 3.97 to the 97 and then the lastly 100 choose 4 0.03 to the 4, 0.97 to the 96. So let me plug that into my calculator real quick. So this is approximately equal to 0.1821, which is our answer E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!